This morning on today's travel, the best cruise deals right now after a bunch of recent. This morning on today's travel, the best cruise deals right now after a bunch of recent high profile disasters like the partial sinking of the Costa Concordia off the Italian coast and those passengers stranded for days without power on the Carnival Triumph. Cruise lines are doing everything in their power to get you on board. Claire Newell is a travel expert. Claire, good to see you this morning. Thanks for having me. You say this is probably the best time in the history of the cruise industry to find a good bargain, and you've got some ideas on how to do it. Let's start with booking early. If you can, I say at least six months in advance. If you if you can. Six months out. Okay. How about getting on an older ship? That obviously has its downsides. It has its downsides, but I'm not saying one of the old tugs. I'm saying just maybe one generation from their newest because you pay a premium for that new, you know, it, the one that's in the spotlight. How do you know if it's an older ship? Is there a way to find out? There online? is a way to find it out on the Cruise Line's website. Usually they'll have the year that they come out, and you want to look for just one generation back. You'll save yourself a ton of money. And obviously it helps to book off-season. The rates are lower. Right. You pay a premium for peak season. That's over holidays and when kids are out of school, so over the summer months in, in particular. You've brought to us some pretty stunning deals. Let's look at some of these. The first one, a seven-night Alaskan cruise for something like 100 bucks a night. Yeah, this particular... Uh, cruise is the Holland America's Volendam is the ship May the 15th one day only for under $700 it's sailing round trip from Vancouver it's a great way to see places like Juneau Skagway and Ketchikan seeing those gorgeous uh, Alaskan glaciers yeah, beautiful photographs let's warm it up a little bit seven night Caribbean cruise yeah this is a seven night Western Caribbean cruise it's sailing round trip from Tampa Lots of time to think about it because it's not leaving until December 1st, but what a deal. It's aboard uh, Norwegian Cruise Line's Dawn for $575. You'll get to see places like Honduras, Belize, the Costa Maya. And that particular ship, the Norwegian Cruise Line's Dawn, has just undergone a massive refurbish in 2011. So it feels like you're sailing aboard a newer ship. Next one, I couldn't believe this, 77 bucks a night for nine nights in the Pacific Northwest. Yes, it's doing a repositioning cruise, and that's the reason it's so inexpensive. It's sailing from San Diego up to Seattle. Then that ship, which is Celebrity Solstice, will be doing round trip Alaska. So if you can get on board this one on May the 6th, you'll save yourself a ton of money on the daily rate. Uh, San Diego, Los Angeles, Santa Barbara, San Francisco are just a few of the ports. And how about real quickly, huge discounts in the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean is cheap. This is where you're going to see your biggest discounts. Seven night Mediterranean in and out of Rome June, in June. Uh, $543. I did that particular <laughs> cruise. How are you feeling just, about that? <laughs> it's hurting my heart, really. I did it. It's Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. Beautiful big ship and a good mix of singles, couples, families, so everyone can have a great time. And what a chance to see parts of Italy, Turkey, and Greece for that kind of money. Great time to go cruising. Claire Newell, sure. thanks so much, Claire.